Hey everyone, Dave here, and today I'm going to be doing a playthrough of 1759 Siege of Quebec, which is part of the Great Sieges series from Worthington Publishing. Now this is a, a solitaire war game. It can also be played with two players, but what I am going to be doing is the solo run through for <clears throat> the British side. So what we have is uh, a battle where we have the uh, British against the French and over the course of the game we have a number of turns where this particular is, uh, this is like a counter-attack deck that has a certain number of cards in there based upon the difficulty of the game. So how the British are going to win is um, either by depleting the morale of the French all the way down to zero or they are going to have to deplete all of these troops that are here right inside Quebec and we have to have some troop markers here in Abraham. So, seems like it's easy, probably not. Uh, and how we're going to do this is by issuing orders. So we are actually going to command these particular uh, actions that are on the board based upon this field manual. And so this is the one that uh, we are seeing what General Wolf did. Here's all of our orders and um, this is how it's going to be for the the British. The uh, French have their own book if I decided against the French and they have a different playing condition. So uh, let's look at some of these. So we have orders that we would be able to do things here. For example, attack Lower Quebec. And this will tell us when we execute the order what's going to happen. And then there are certain restrictions. For example, here we must have troops in Memorancy to use this order. So if we want to attack Lower Quebec, which would be this section along the board over here, we actually have to have troops there. That makes sense. Um, the attacking Upper Quebec, we would have to make sure that we have uh, troops in Levis, which we do at the start of the game here. This is Upper Quebec over here. Uh, the same thing with attacking villages. We have to have troops in Memorancy and or Levis to use this order. So um, we have uh, a village down here, the South Shore Villages, or we have the North Shore Villages up there on the board. And so as you can see on here, where we can, we can uh, view how things are looking on the board. Um, so Upper Quebec, we have the attack to villages. Bombard Quebec. After um, So this here, you have to have troops in Levis to use this order. And you may not use aggressive commander actions with this one. Well, that is, um, we will get to that in a second. So this would actually be like using artillery over here. So it's a way for you to go across. So, um, you know, go from here to here to try to deplete their troops there. And then attacking Quebec itself, you have to have troops in Abraham to use that, so we have to make sure we go down there. And when we are attacking this area, Cap Rouge, uh, those are going to be depleted first. And then we also have actions to move troops or ships. And then we have these aggressive commander actions, which we can do. There's four of them throughout the game. And what they are going to do is give like a boost to the game. They can make the actions more intense little more bloody but we also have the potential of driving down our own morale so um, how this is going to work is we will um, execute we will choose one of these orders and then we will flip over one of these counter order things uh, to see what their actions are going to be and then we are going to resolve that action based upon this chart by rolling a die so if we have um, numbers that show up here in the the red this means that uh, British troops are going to uh, lose um, and the morale will go down a corresponding number. If the blue numbers come up, then the French units will be removed from the board and the French morale goes down. So um, that's pretty much going to be the system. So again, the way that the British are going to win is they have to um, basically have troops here and have nobody in Quebec. So that means that these guys have to go first and then this one. But here's the rub. In order for you to do that, you have to have, uh, in order for you to move troops into here, you have to have ships in Upper St. Lawrence. And moving ships is very, very difficult. So anyways, so I think the first thing that we need to do is um, take a survey of the board and look where we have troops at. We have some here in Levis. We also have our troops in Montmorency 
and then we have a reserve up in Orleans. So uh, I think the first thing that we need to do is um, I believe that uh, we should probably try to start, um, maybe let's try to launch a volley across and bombard Quebec. So um, we are, what we're going to do here is take one of our cubes and we're going to put it on here. We're not going to make this an aggressive action, but let's we'll flip this over and see what this says. So uh, we have no quarter and it says here, reduce British morale for the number of Indian markers in play. Well, unfortunately, there are three Indian markers in place, so we are already going to lose three morale spaces. So one, two, three. So we're still at nine, but that took a big hit. And then uh, their thing is to defend lower Quebec. It's a number A. So what we're going to end up doing is we are going to roll a die over here, and we're kind of hoping for a low, a low roll so we can um, basically reduce morale. And we rolled a six which unfortunately is going to uh, backfire on us and we're going to lose one more morale. So we're not off to a very good start with the British. So uh, that was probably not a very smart thing, um, but you know, I would probably say that we have to be uh, careful uh, about that. So um, we may want to attack um, Lower Quebec. No, we might want to attack Upper Quebec now because of the fact that maybe we need to get rid of some of these things. We have a bunch of troops there, so we're going to go there and we will go ahead and attack Upper Quebec this particular round. And let's see what happens here. So, Ranger Village raids. So, we're going to resolve this. Proceed with order or cancel order. Attack North and South villages. French losses come from North and or South village areas. British losses come from reserve. Roll one die and use the results. So um, I think we're just going to go ahead and, um, well, we are going to go ahead and um, proceed with our orders. And so, um, and they are defend, they choose to defend lower Quebec. So this looks like no matter what we roll here, uh, French are going to take a loss. Looks like we caught them by surprise. So let's go ahead and roll here. Now we want something high. So we rolled a two. So we go over here and we look and they we attacked here and we have, um, they lose two. So it says after resolving any events, roll the order die and apply results based French counter um, order played. Any troop losses are taken from Levis for the British and South Shore villages or Indians from the French. So um, I think that we are going to go ahead and uh, deplete their Indians over in the section. So they are gone. And since they lost two units, their morale goes down by two spaces. So very, very successful turn for the British in trying to uh, start depleting things over on the side. So the next round, um, I think that uh, what we're going to try to do is... Um, we look at the board here. Do we want to try to move, uh, try to attempt to move ship down into Upper St. Lawrence? Um, if we do, if we are successful, and we look down here, let's look at our risk on this. We are um, going to uh, potentially risk losing some morale here. Um, we're going to have to hope for low rolls. Right now, the dice have been rolling low. And um, so. I think that we may be able to catch them by uh, by uh, surprise, but it says here when we um, after resolving any events, we roll the order die and apply the results. If we're successful, we move one ship from Lower St. Lawrence to Upper St. Lawrence, or vice versa. And if moving from Safe Anchorage area to the Lower St. Lawrence, use a minus three modifier on a move. So that means it's going to be really hard to get from Safe Anchorage in. So. Um, that's really, well, actually, that would be okay because a minus three modifier would make things successful. But let's go ahead and try to move a ship. Maybe we can start getting into position down here on the upper St. Lawrence River. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do is flip this over here and raid on British batteries. So if bombard Quebec order is played, cancel order and remove one British troop marker from Levis. So we did not bombard Quebec but they are going to choose to defend Quebec. And if you look down here, we have a little bit of uh, flavor text. British batteries at Levis bomb uh, bombed Quebec relentlessly in an effort to reduce the morale of the French. 
though outgunned, the French periodically responded with its raids from Quebec. So um, just a little bit of what's going on. So they are uh, the number C. So we're going to be looking at this particular column over here. The only way that we are going to be successful is to roll a one. So maybe, ah, we roll the six. So we look down here, minus one morale, and we failed. So this goes down one space right there. So we were not successful in doing that. Um, but let's see. Um, what are we trying to do? We still have, we still have, we haven't taken any troop casualties yet, which has been uh, fortunate. We have not, um, you know, we had one successful attack at this point. Um, and let's see, they've been defending there. I'm going to try to, let's see if we can continue to drive morale down, down here, or let's see if we can just drive morale down by bombarding Quebec. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that again. And, um, we cannot use aggressive uh, commander action with this order, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. So we flip over the card here and we look, and this says, uh, engage guns of Quebec. First roll one die and use results below to engage with the guns of Quebec, then proceed with or cancel your order. So we're gonna roll the die and we roll the two. So it says reduce French morale by one. So we will go ahead and do that on the board. So we moved it already down one. Then um, we can, let's see. So if British ship is forced to move to St. Gate Safe Anchorage, the first choice is one from Upper St. Lawrence. So we did not do that. And then they are also choosing to defend Upper Quebec. So we have an opportunity to be successful again. We caught them off guard again. So let's go ahead and roll the die. We rolled a five, and um, we're looking down in the B, and unfortunately, this was a failed attempt here, and we ended up losing morale ourselves. So even though we caught them off guard, was not something that was uh, beneficial for us. So, uh, I think we wanna continue. Let's try to bombard Quebec again. Maybe we can get successful and drive the morale down. And what do we have here? We have fire ships. So move one ship to safe anchorage, ship in Upper St. Lawrence first, which we don't have any. Uh, so, or stay and use the chart below. Um, wow. You know something, I am going to, um, I don't know, man, I wanna risk it. So if I move all, if I move all, if I move a ship up there to, to safe anchorage, or I shipped, oh, I don't, ah, you know what, I don't really want to risk reducing morale. Um, so, we will take one, since we don't have any in Upper St. Lawrence, we'll take one of these, and it's got to retreat back up here. They keep sending these fire boats out, basically, try to burn our ships up. And then they're defending Upper Quebec. So, again, we have a chance, I need to roll low. I rolled a four, and down here on the bottom, it's going to have no effect, so... Wasn't good, wasn't bad on either one of those things, but we are, um, we ended up uh, suffering at the hands of the French with their fireboats by driving back one of our ships. So, we continue to look at the board and um, we're not in a position to be able to attack Quebec yet. We have to uh, be able to um, move our ships down. And so I'm thinking that we need to, try, we are gonna to try to focus on attacking morale. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and order them to attack Upper Quebec. I'm sorry, Lower Quebec up here. And we have troops in Memorancy, and I think this time we are going to go ahead and use one of our aggressive actions. So I'm going to place this on here. And uh, we will roll an additional die once we do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is flip this over and we have uh, fire ships. Move one ship to safe anchorage. Again, their ships are coming. Um, so, and then we are also, um, oh, I actually, I put this on the wrong, um, actually, what did I say? I said we were attacking, we were attacking lower Quebec. Um, man, all right, so I guess we're going to go ahead and just move another ship. I can't, can't risk losing a boat. And they are going to be defending lower Quebec. So, unfortunately, here, let's see what's going to happen. Let's roll this die first to resolve that. And it's a three, 
So we are going to lose one of our sh troops up here and morale is going to go down by one. But uh, let's see what happens when we roll this die. We roll a six and unfortunately we are going to lose two more troops and morale goes down two more. So the British, the British are really, uh, really, really getting hammered here. Um, that was not good. And uh, so we have to be aware of the fact that uh, we're seeing that the French are holding off uh, the British up here. They've been able to drive the British back. Um, so let's continue on. Their morale is dropping. The French are remaining strong. So at least I think at this point, uh, let's try to go ahead and uh, move some troops. And um, after, so we have to have at least two ships in Upper St. Lawrence to move any troops to Abraham, uh, which we don't, but I can, otherwise we can move them. Um, so let's roll the die and see if we can um, see what happens. Well, at first, let's do this. Um, so we have command conflict. Cancel order issued for the turn or proceed with order at plus one modifier. So um, we will go ahead and do that. And then they're defending lower Quebec. So here we're rolling on this thing here. Um, so if I, as long as I roll a one through three, we're okay because I'm going to take a modifier. I don't want to cancel the order. We rolled a three. It makes it a four. It is successful. So I want to go ahead and move two troops over into... Uh, we're going to move them across the reserves into Montmorency. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can try to continue to, uh, maybe we can drive them down. Let's attack lower Quebec. See if we can maybe cause them to, to uh, have some casualties. Maybe we can catch them off guard and they can be defending upper Quebec. I don't know. Troops exhausted. Cancel order issued for the turn or proceed with the order to reduce your morale by one. And they are going to be defending lower Quebec. I am going to go ahead and cancel my order and just go ahead and not do uh, anything. We'll just go ahead and let time pass because um, I cannot afford to take any more casualties and the fact that they will be defending lower Quebec, um, no matter what, I'm gonna be losing troops. So we will go ahead and uh, allow time to pass. So. Was it a good thing? Perhaps, but you know, we only have so much time in the game for us to be able to do it, and we are a far cry from being able to get up the river. So, uh, let's see. Um, I think what we're going to end up doing is uh, choosing to move a ship this order, and um, we will be trying to move uh, a ship from Safe Heart, Safe Anchorage. I'm sorry, move from Safe Anchorage to lower St. Lawrence, so we will get a plus th or a minus three modifier on the roll. So let's go ahead and flip this over and see what we have going on. Uh, we have counterattack, cancel order issued or proceed with the order and add plus one to any troop losses incurred for either side. And then they are going to be defending all positions. So uh, in order for me to do this, um, I will have, uh, we won't have any troop losses Hopefully not, but let's go ahead and roll the die. And um, so it's four minus three is one. So it is successful. So we will be able to move one of our ships up here into the lower St. Lawrence area. Okay, um, so we're coming back from safe Anchorage. This area here, let's try to um, go ahead and attack there. So we're gonna try to attack upper Quebec this particular turn. See if maybe we can deplete their Indians over there. That would be a nice thing to be able to do. Let's see what they choose to do. Oh, here we go. No quarter. Reduce British morale for the number of Indian markers in play. Well, um, since the last time we took two out, we're only going to lose one morale. And they are going to be defending upper Quebec. So no matter what, we are taking losses. Let's see what happens here. We roll a three, so we will only be losing one troop. So one goes away and the morale goes down one. So we are, you know, halfway down. The French are still standing strong. All right. Um, 
Well, we're going to continue to stay in that area. We're going to try to attack Upper Quebec again. So let's see what happens on this one. We flip this over. Bad weather. So roll one die and use results below. So let's roll the die. We have a three. So storms cancel attack orders. Great. <laughs> the, the French... The French cannot get, uh, I mean, the French are getting lucky. The British cannot seem to catch a break here. So this area, we will not be able to get a battle. Time is running out. The French are holding off, um, holding off the British for this point. Uh, let's try to continue to do this one more time. Maybe third time will be a charm to attack Upper Quebec. And we'll flip over the card. And we have... Montcalm repositions troops. Move one French troop from any and all areas other than reserve and Indians that have a surplus, more than one troop, to areas completely vacant of troops. So we don't have any area that is, uh, we don't have any areas that are completely vacant. So that is good. If uh, British occupy Abraham, then French surplus troops all fill in any vacant reserve slots. So their reserves are basically in Quebec. Uh, so they're not going to be moving in. Um, it says move one French troop from any and all areas other than reserves and Indians that have a surplus to areas completely vacant of troops. Well, we haven't depleted anybody yet. Um, and then they are defending lower Quebec. We are attacking upper Quebec. So we will definitely be, uh, they will, the French will be losing ca uh, troops this time. We rolled a two. They will be losing two troops here so let's take out some from the villages two from the villages there their morale goes down two spaces so finally the british the third time was a charm for them uh doing that let's let's focus on what we need to do let's try to um let's try to uh see if we can maybe move some boats down into the upper saint or into the upper saint lawrence area which is kind of funny because the way that this flows even though this is upper and lower um this is all in relationship to how the river flows so let's go ahead and try and move a ship and um so we will see what happens here um raid on british batteries if bombard quebec orders plate cancel order remove one british troop marker from levis and then they're defending all positions so we need to roll a one or two on this roll. Come on, low roll. Oh yes, finally we were successful. So we will go ahead and move one of our ships down into, uh, into Upper St. Lawrence. So we have one there, we need one more, and then we'll be able to start moving troops into Abraham to start um, depleting troops here in Quebec. So that was a good turn. We were able to move a ship. So let's see, what are we looking to do here? Um, I have a feeling that we need to try to maybe um, take out some of these ones here that are in Beauport. Just start, re try to um, attack the French here to continue to take their troops down and uh, drive morale down. Maybe the British are going to be on the upswing, so let's go ahead and attack Lower Quebec. And um, not really worth risking an aggressive action at this point, um, but let's go ahead and see what the French are going to do. So the French troops are exhausted. Cancel an order issued for the turn or proceed with the order and reduce your morale by one. And they're defending Upper Quebec. Well, you know, something to pay based upon what they are doing, I'm going to go ahead and reduce my morale because no matter what, I'm going, they're going to lose. Um, they're taking casualties. So we'll go ahead and lose one morale. And we will go ahead and roll this die here. And we rolled a one, which they are going to lose two troops. So that's going to drive their morale down by two spaces. So that was a very, very good turn for us to be able to, uh, to do that. Um, I didn't want to risk um, canceling the order. I don't want to continue to lose time. We actually got lucky now twice. So the British finally are there having uh, something on the upswing with um, choosing this particular order. So looking at the board, looking at positions, uh, a couple things here are depleted, which would be, um, you know, hopefully we can do that. Maybe that's going to force the French to uh, pull out some of their reserves. So I think this time we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to attack Upper Quebec. And you know what? We will be aggressive this turn. I'm willing to risk uh, losing some morale here this way at the expense of maybe uh, causing costing us the game. But... 
Uh, I really feel that we need to hit the French while the British are on the upswing. Let's see what happens. And we have uh, bad weather. So roll one die and use the results below. Hopefully um, we can have uh, a roll where it's not going to affect us too bad. We rolled a four, which is going to be uh, storms, cancel attack orders. Great. So, um, which, and then they're defending. So basically our attack orders canceled, which is good because they would have been defending. We would have, uh, we would have lost that way. So, um, Thank you for bad weather. The British are happy even though we had to cancel the plans, but time continues to move on. So we wait for the weather to pass. The, the British are going to continue to try to do that. They're going to attack Upper Quebec again. Let's go ahead and flip this card over. And counterattack. Cancel order issued or proceed with the order and add plus one to any troop losses incurred for either side. And they are defending Quebec. Um, so we look at the chart here. This is going to be pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack. I don't want to uh, cancel this order. I think that we have a chance to uh, really hurt the French here, especially if we can get a low roll, which we rolled a one. So defending Quebec, uh, they are going to lose two troops and actually their casualty is going to add plus one. So there's only uh, there's only two troops that are left here, so these are completely depleted, and they are going to lose two morale. So it's going to become even now. Look at this. We have, um, we have driven the French out of this particular area, so I'm hoping that maybe in the future, then the French are going to have to uh, pull some of their reserves in here to fill this up and start reducing this. I'm kind of thinking that maybe I want to try to move a ship into here and try to be able to get one down into the upper St. Lawrence area so we can start making a siege towards uh, the capital. But in the meantime, let's see if we can try to drive morale down by bombarding Quebec. Um, we are reduced their morale. We have the potential to reduce their morale even more. So let's see what happens here. Fire ships, great. Move one ship to safe anchorage or stay and use the chart. You know what? I'm going to risk it. We're going to stay. And we roll the die and we roll a one. Ship avoids fire ships and stays. Okay, that's good. And they are defending Quebec. So I need to, want, I need to roll low, otherwise I'm going to reduce morale here. So we roll the five. And the five, fortunately, is only minus one morale. So we go down by one here. All right, so again, surveying the board, looking at where we're at, I think that we, um, uh, what's the best way to drive down morale? Um, I believe, let's see, if we attack Upper, well, Upper Quebec, we've pretty much wiped them out on the board. If we go after Lower Quebec over here, the only way that we're gonna be able to do that, we have to catch them off guard, we can hit them pretty hard. Um, right now we are still sitting good with our reserves. We could try to go ahead and move a ship, which I think we're going to go ahead and do that again, try to move our ship from safe anchorage into the, into the upper St. Lawrence area. So let's see what we have over here. And we have Montcalm repositioned troops, move one French troop from any and all areas other than reserve and Indians that have a surplus more than one troop to areas completely vacant of troops. Okay, um, so move one French troop from any and all areas other than reserves and Indians that have a surplus to areas completely vacant of troops. Okay, so we'll pull one from Cap Rouge over here. So we'll drive that down and we'll pull one from over here in the North Shore Villages We'll come over here and join with the Indians. So we move one French troop from any and all areas other than reserve and Indians uh, that have a surplus to areas completely vacant of troops. Okay, so we did that. All right, and they are defending Upper Quebec. So um, hope and if we try to move that one, we have if we're trying to move from safe anchorage, we will have a minus three modifier on there. So let's roll and see what we have. So three, so we will be successful. So this ship will move up into this particular area here. 
So things are starting to look good for the uh, for the British. And uh, let's see if we can maybe continue to uh, to take out more of their troops by attacking Upper Quebec. So, um, all right. And uh, we don't have a whole lot of turns left, but let's see what we can do here. Um, okay, Montcalm repositions troops. So um, right now there are no areas that are devoid of troops, so that's good. But they are defending all positions. So let's see, we're going to be rolling in column D. Roll the die here. We roll the two. We look over in this spot over here, the number two. And the British are going to lose one troop, so they will lose the Indian right there. We'll take that one out. And their morale goes down by one. So again, we're, we're, the British are slowly pining away and chipping away at the French forces here. But the French are doing a good job of resisting the British because um, as time is going on, um, we are running out of uh, options before the British are going to have to flee before the winter sets in. So um, we're gonna go ahead and try and move a ship and we're going to try to get down another ship into the upper St. Lawrence. And so we'll flip this over. And uh, militia defends homes. If an attack villages order is played, cancel that order and remove one British troop marker from any location. And they are defending all positions. So we need to roll low in order to get um, the troop in there. And we rolled a four. Unfortunately, we failed and we will lose uh, morale over here. So um, trying to regain from that, uh, I think we should try to... Uh, Let's see, we need to take out some troops to drive them down. They still have a lot of things that are up in the, in the, um, in the lower Quebec area. So let's go ahead and choose to attack lower Quebec. We're not going to use an aggressive action on this. Um, my morale is too low to force getting it to be really, really bloody. Let's see what happens here. And bad weather. We have roll one die and use the results below. So we roll the six. And this says uh, mud, no troop movement, so we can't move troops, but they're defending lower Quebec. We are attacking lower Quebec. The British are going to uh, take casualties. Let's see what happens here. We roll the five, and unfortunately the British are going to lose two troops up here. And that is unfortunately gonna drive the morale down to zero for the British. So. Unfortunately, I lost during this play, but you got a chance to see how the British actually play in 1759 Siege of Quebec. So uh, make sure that you tune in for uh, a video. I'll have an upcoming one with the uh, playthrough of playing on the French side. So hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.